Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, today we have a little appetizer type of item for you. We picked this up at Costco, and it is the Ocean Pier Bacon Wrapped and Cheese Stuffed Jalapenos product of Canada, two net carbs per serving. So here's the thing for you, all of you keto people, six grams of protein, 20 count in this box. We cooked these in the air fryer and um, that's what we got. Now guys, we got this at Costco and I was really shocked when I saw this because I love bacon wrapped jalapenos mm -hmm. and the packaging on it just makes it look really good. Yeah. And here it is. And I'm actually shocked because I was expecting the the cheese to be um, like gone, oozing, out, oozing yep. out and all that. It's still there. Yeah, they were really easy to cook. Now it said that they would take about eight minutes. I feel like they took about 10 minutes because I was encountering that the edges of them weren't getting cooked with the bacon. So I put them all to the edge of the air fryer where they were touching the sides and then it crisped right up. Now guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. That's right. It smells very spicy. I'm gonna try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. So our rating system, thumbs up, we would buy this again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me guys, this is a big thumbs up. And the reason is, oftentimes with this type of product, you put it in the oven or air fryer, and the cheese just flows out, you got a big mess, and then when you get to actually eat it, it's missing the cheese and it just doesn't taste right. Mm -hmm. With this one, I'm really impressed. The pepper is spicy, but the bacon and the cheese balances everything out. And take a look, man, no mess. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so for me, this is gonna be a thumbs up. I like this as well. Uh, love that the cheese did not run away from us because that is the number one issue in all of these things. So the mere fact that the cheese is still there gives it like 10 extra points in my book. But also the other main issue that we encounter with things like this is the bacon not being done. And I'm talking about like, it's still like rubbery, uncooked, not done. That is the main concern. And I almost have to burn it every time just to get it done. And this cooked so nicely. So I love that. I love that the pepper is like not too crunchy. It's like nice and soft whenever you bite into it so it doesn't like create a big mess, like breaking off into one big piece or anything like that. Now, the one thing I will say about it is that it's pretty salty. So if you are sensitive to things like that, I would say maybe steer clear of this because it's quite salty. What did you think? Did you find yeah. it to be salty? Not really. To me, really? it was salty, but I felt it was okay. I mean, it's okay, but I'm just saying it's pretty salty. I can deal with it though. So guys, to sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.